Hello friends, welcome to Tech Learning YouTube channel. This video is second part of instrumentation interview question answer series, so let's start the video. What is an orifice plate? Orifice plates are used in flow measurement. It is a thin plate, consisting hole in the center. The orifice plate is installed in the pipe, carrying fluid. The orifice plate creates a pressure drop across it. The flow rate of the fluid flowing in the pipe can be calculated using this pressure drop. The pressure drop across the orifice plate is proportional to the square root of the flow rate. What are the types of instrumentation cables? The instrumentation cables can be categorized in three categories. Signal cables, control cables, and communication cables. Signal cables carry low power instrumentation signals like 4 to 20 mA signal between the instruments and the control system or monitoring devices. Control cables are also called multi-core cables. They are used to carry control signals like on-off commands and the feedback signals from motors, actuators, solenoids, relays, and switches. The communication cables are used to carry information within a network of control systems, instruments, VFDs, and monitoring devices. What is piezoelectric effect? The piezoelectric effect is a phenomena in which certain materials generate an electric charge, in response to applied mechanical stress and vice versa, when an electric field is applied to these materials, they can undergo mechanical deformation. Piezoelectric materials can be used in various applications, including sensors, actuators, transducers, and many more. What are the uses of piezoelectric crystal in instrumentations? In instrumentation, piezoelectric crystals can be used in pressure sensors, strain gauges, ultrasonic instruments, level sensors, load cells, piezoelectric actuators, acoustic devices, standard frequency generators, fast response solenoids, fuel injectors, and many more. What are the different types of flow meters? The different types of flow meters are positive displacement flow meter, differential pressure types flow meters, electromagnetic flow meter, ultrasonic flow meter, vortex flow meter, and mass flow meter. What is the essential straight length, in upstream and downstream, if you are installing an electromagnetic flow meter? If you are installing an electromagnetic flow meter, a minimum 5D in upstream, and minimum 3D in downstream straight run is required. By maintaining the straight length in the flow meters upstream and downstream, flow turbulence is minimized, and maximum accuracy can be achieved. What are the types of temperature gauges? There are three types of temperature gauges. These are, bimetallic temperature gauge, liquid filled temperature gauge, and gas filled temperature gauge. What are different types of orifice plates? There are three types of orifice plates. Number 1, concentric. These plates are used for ideal liquid as well as gases and steam services. Concentric holes are present in these plates. Number 2, segmental. These plates have hole in the form of segment of the circle. This plate is used for colloidal and sherry flow measurement. Number 3. Eccentric. This plate has the eccentric holes. This plate is used in viscous and sherry flow measurement. What is the working principle of RTD? RTD works on metal's linear relationship between temperature and its electrical resistance. It says that if the temperature of the metal wire is increased, its resistance will also be increased. An RTD consists of a pure platinum wire coil, enclosed in a protective sheath. When the temperature changes, the resistance of platinum wire also changes. This change in resistance is proportional to the change in temperature. What are the types of thermocouples, and what are their temperature measurement ranges? Thermocouples can be categorized into two categories. Base metal thermocouples and noble metal thermocouples. Let's see the base metal thermocouple. Type J thermocouple, the measurement range of J-type thermocouple is 0 to 750 degrees Celsius. Type K thermocouple, the measurement range of K-type thermocouple is minus 200 degrees Celsius to plus 1250 degrees Celsius. A-type thermocouple, the measurement range of E-type thermocouple is minus 50 degrees Celsius to plus 740 degrees Celsius. Type T thermocouple, the measurement range of T-type thermocouple is minus 250 degrees Celsius to plus 350 degrees C. Type N thermocouple, the measurement range of N-type thermocouple is minus 270 degrees Celsius to 1300 degrees Celsius. There are three types of noble metal thermocouples. 
Type B thermocouple, the measurement range of type B thermocouple is 0 degrees Celsius to 1800 degrees Celsius. Type S thermocouple, the measurement range of type S thermocouple is 0 degrees Celsius to 1600 degrees Celsius and type R thermocouple, the measurement range of type R thermocouple is 0 degrees Celsius to 1482 degrees Celsius. What is the working principle of thermocouple? The working principle of the thermocouple is based on the Seebeck effect. This says that, if two dissimilar metal wires are joined together, at both ends, making two junctions. If these two junctions are kept at different temperatures, an EMF will be generated in this closed loop. The generated EMF will be proportional to the temperature difference between the two junctions. This is the working principle of thermocouple. What is the difference between instrumentation cables and power cables? The electrical or power cables are designed to carry high electric power. These cables are used to connect power supply to electrical equipment like transformers, pumps, motors, electrical control panels, and other electrical systems. Power cables are good for handling high voltage and high current, while the instrumentation cables are designed for low power and low current signals. They have to be immune to cable losses and nearby electrical interference. These cables are designed in such a way that the signals they carry are least affected by any surrounding electrical noise or interference. What is a DP flow meter? In a DP flow meter, flow rate is calculated from measurements of the pressure difference created by the flowing fluid. The differential pressure flow meter is based on Bernoulli's equation, where the pressure drop is a squared function of the fluid velocity. Some common types of restrictions used to create differential pressure, orifice plate, flow nozzle, venturi and the pitot tube. What are the FRLS cables? FRLS cables stands for flame retardant low smoke cables. These cables are manufactured using specially developed FRLS compound for cable sheathing. FRLS cables are designed to resist combustion and to limit fire propagation. These FRLS compound cable sheathings are resistant to ignition and flame propagation. The smoke emission during fire in FRLS cables is very low. Thank you for joining us to explore top instrumentation interview question answers. We do hope that these question answers will enhance your instrumentation knowledge. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press bell icon. So let's meet with another video. Thank you.